Hey guys, it's uh, your friend Ben. And I wanted to talk to you about this whole Patreon thing. And why I'm doing it. What's it about? Um, in case you didn't know, you know, I didn't know what it was at first. It's really interesting. It's kind of like GoFundMe, Kickstarter kind of thing all in one. And it's designed for like artists, writers, type, type guys who uh, are looking for people who want to help them, support them, you know, get involved in what they're doing. So, say for example, someone like me, who has uh, people out there, friends, family, just, you know, people out there who they th think um, want to support them, want to be a part of what they're doing, and want to reward them, want to make them a part of a community. So, their page is a way to communicate with them and uh, set up these tiers. So, like, if you go on my on mine, I've set up my tiers with rewards. Uh, and right now, they're mainly about Nana and Papa, you know, agents of Abdaiyal. Um, but, you know, eventually, once I've... That story has, you know, I don't want to say run its course, but, you know... I guess run its course, yeah, that's, that's, that's finished editing that first part, and, you know, finished that, and, you know, really done what I can with it, and published it, and all that, and gone on to the next book, I might, you know, hey, time to do more, but you can go in there, and you can see those tiers, see if you can participate, see how you want to participate, watch um, the videos, get updates, see how you can participate so like tier one will be a certain level tier two will be another level you know uh, what, is, what are you talking about well every month when you're participating you will be billed um, a certain amount of money depending upon which tier you're participating in so tier one for example I think my first tier the lowest tier is two dollars so every month you will be billed two dollars and then According to my the, my particular tier, you would be rewarded something, um, and then the next tier I think is five dollars, and then um, I can't remember exactly, but my highest tier uh, is seventy seven dollars and seven cent seventy cents, um, and they each have different names and they have different little symbols and they have different prizes or rewards and different explanations for the levels, and that's the way I set mine up. And you can go in there and there's different patrons or different. Uh, artists and different writers and different creators and different rewards you know there's all different guys in there so I, I go on there and check it out but you know, like I said the reason I'm doing mine is because I uh, you know I started publishing my stuff on my page I hold the whole reason I put whole reason I started Nan and pop pop agents of Abdi in the first place was to have a story that I wasn't really working on it's kind of funny I wasn't even really working on it I just wanted to have something that kind of showcased my style of writing, um, you know, so you guys could, people could see, well, this is the way I tell a story. This is how my characters look and interact and they think. Um, this is the way I want you to see inside my mind, the way I see things, the way I think and feel through a character's eyes, right? You know, when I looked into that, I, was, I, I told this to somebody, I, went, I was standing in um, the kitchen and I looked into my backyard, and you can see from the from the window, you can see the shed, and there's a picture of it on on my author page, you know, Ben Underwood Senior writer. And uh, if you go in there, you can and you scroll down, scroll down, or look through the pictures, you can see it. And the shed's really not that scary, but uh, Junior, my son Benji Benjamin Underwood Junior, he when he was younger, or even now. Whenever I ask him to go in the shed, he just gets this look of dread upon his face. When he's younger, he was scared. But now it's just because he hates bugs and it's dirty and there's old tools and they're rusty and it's gross. But I thought about it and I was looking at the shed and I took a picture with my phone and I looked at it and I said, you know what? What about a story where Bean, my grandson, wanted to go into the shed because he wasn't supposed to? 
he was doing the opposite as children do doing the very opposite of what he was supposed to do he was told not to go in the shed because there was something that he wasn't supposed to mess with the normally in the shed there's nothing scary there's it's just bugs you know it's tools things that we need you know it's, it's just a storage place but what if there was what if in fact this particular shed was holding something so dark and something so sinister that it was going to change the way the world was period so from there I thought about one of the things, you know, like I said, my grandson, one of the most important things to me in the world, aside from, you know, my wife. <laughs> so, you know, being, you know, he, he children uh, just do the opposite of what's said. Well, I couldn't, my baby, he's a baby right now, but, you know, I know when he's older, he's going to start doing the opposite of what he's supposed to do. Um, and, you know, just like my kids did, Junior, when he was older, um, I tell him not to do something, and he invariably... We'll do the opposite. So, well, what if... What if Nana and Papa... Told him... You can't go in the shed. You just can't. You, know, you just gotta trust me. And then he gets older. And for some reason, somehow he gets in there. And when he's in there... That darkness gets free. The darkness gets loose. So, I, you know, I, I whipped up a little something. I put the picture of the shed in there. And that was the start. And I liked it. I thought it was cool. So I went back, I think it was a week later. And I made another little blurb. And then another. But it was longer. And then each time I went back, it kept getting longer. And I think the... The next one... The next longest one... So the first one was like two sentences with the picture then it went to like a paragraph then it went to uh, like a page then it was 2,000 words then it was um, and I think it was another 2,000 words then it was 8,000 words then like I put everything together all of it and it was I'm editing it now, and everything, the first five parts all together, is 14,000 words. And that's just the first five parts. And like I said, um, I'm editing it and polishing it so that I can repost it for you guys. But that's, like I said, that's Nan and Papa. But it all started because of the shed and Junior. Come back. So, say hi, Junior. So, it started because, like I said, the shed and Junior. But, um, anyway, that's why I'm doing the patron. So, if you guys want to go in there, and if you want to help, and you, you can, great. And if you can't, share that for me. Share what I'm doing there. You know, write an encouraging word, encourage me. If you see, if you see mistakes on there... Um, or if you think I shouldn't be doing it, if you think I got the wrong idea, you know, or if you just want to wait till I publish it, you know, tell me. Or if you want to just read what I'm writing and um, do that, that would be great. Um, like I said, and, and I've, I've listed in the rewards. Like, for example, if you do the first two rewards, which are basically, I think, $2 and $5, um, you're going you can get the ebook. Um, then the bigger rewards, you'll get the, you know, the, the hardback and stuff like that and, and the big big one you're going to get the you know and stuff like that so again that's what it's all about it's about supporting each other especially if you're another writer um, so I'm trying to find ways to get into the writing community myself because the writing community has changed from what it was for one example for Stephen King first came into it and uh, Ted Decker first came into it or way back when, like, Hemingway came into it, or Edgar Allan Poe came into it. So, 
you know, the things that people do with self-publishing. I tried that with a prayer book with my wife. And uh, not only did I not do very well, um, I ended up giving most of them away, which is a blessing because I wanted to do that to be a blessing to people. But it was also kind of expensive. And I just don't have, you know, a lot of money right now to invest in a book. So if people who like my writing uh, want to help me with that, then hey, I'm all for that. But if you can't, then help me however you can. Spread the word if you like what I'm writing and send me encouragement. Uh, help correct any mistakes you see. Um, but anyway, that's what it's all about. And if you're thinking about doing a Patreon, 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 uh, send me a link. Uh, if you're on social media, send me your page. If you have other pages that you're doing, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, send me those links. I'll be there. Again, it's your friend Ben, and I just wanted to share this. Have a great day. Bye-bye.